Hello YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Thank you to those currently subscribed to the channel. I've, it's gone up another hundred in the last like week. Uh, it's just fantastic. Thank you very much for showing your support. It's like it's, it's ace. I didn't even think it would get this far really. It was more of a let's just see what I can capture on my van and have a bit of a laugh. Uh, and it's turning into something really good. So thank you. Um, before I get this video underway, I want to make one quick apology, and that is that the filming of this video is shocking at the beginning. Uh, I usually do my intro and outros at the beginning, pretty much. So like showing um, what I'm gonna do, talking about what I'm gonna do, um, and then then I start filming it, and um, you know when I come to editing, I already know the start and, and what have you. But in this video, I literally just started cracking on with it uh, and didn't realize I didn't have the camera mounted properly in the whatever it is, holder thing. Um, and there's this real dodgy, irritating, like clatter clatter whenever I move the camera. Um, so just bear with the first few minutes of the video. I think it's up to like minute six or something. I don't know. I haven't finished the editing yet. I'm going to be doing that in a minute. <laughs> Yeah, it's, the, it's one of those ones. Um, but please, please like, don't give up with the video and just think, oh, what? This guy's hopeless. Well, yeah, I was hopeless in that bit, but then I got it a bit better. Um, so in the video itself, I'm going to be fitting a, um, a mains hookup supply to my van, um, ideally so that when I'm camping, I don't completely drain my leisure battery uh, if I've got the chance of getting like an electric hookup or something. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try and go through all the electrical bits as detailed as I can. Uh, I'm not an electrician, so I have had to do a bit of homework on this one. Uh, I've got an electrician null friend, as it were, a friend that's an electrician. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, I've got a mate that's an electrician and he's just advised me on a couple of things, which is pretty cool. And then because he's an electrician and he's got a company, he can sign it off legitimately obviously um yeah so it's all safe so i have showed him what i've done and he's pretty happy with it so far so i'm gonna get the video finished up i'm gonna get it out to you guys so here we go here's the video right, so what we're looking for now is a spot that i can hook this bit up now i've seen a few have it like here here and under the van So I think I'm going to go for it about there. And the only issue with that is I'll be taking out the battery in the future if I need to. But by the looks of that clip down there, the battery should slide up and out, which is good. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this panel off. Um, I'll show you sort of a brief process of how to get it out. Um, and then I'm going to get looking at mounting this and feeding the cable through into the van. Well, we're going to sort out uh, the fitting first. Um, so what I'd like to do is make sure that this cable uh, obviously is tucked up in there. Uh, I'm going to try and whop a hole in that as well uh, so I can get the cable on there. I believe it's like 10mm. Uh, so we can just keep it all nice and sweet looking. Uh, so I'm gonna, just going to go ahead and get a hole through this first and I shall be back with the other one. Okay, so that will thread through there, just like that, and give it a little bit of a push, and it'll go on there. So it'll kind of keep it a little bit watertight. Um, let me just try this out on here. Drop that through there. Tidy. So you're going to want to leave um, about an inch, about an inch on these cables. So I'm just going to shorten these up slightly. Make it a little bit easier to work with. Alrighty. So we're going to start with the earth wire, just because that's the easiest one to work with. So I'm just going to trim that off. And live wire. Center wire. Um, 
pops on this kit. But I managed to get this kit from Rains. Yellow's earth, so we're going to pop power in there. We're going to do her up nice and tight so she's clamped shut. Next we're going to do the negative wire, that's the blue one. Next we're going to do the live wire, so that is the brown one. So, all we've got left to do is obviously mount the case on, but we'll do that afterwards. Let's put a cable tie around this section so that I can't actually pull that back out. It's kind of just make sure it's secured in there nicely. Uh, so that's that done. Uh, now I'm going to look at fitting it in the front, but I need to get a hole in that panel so I can thread this through into the van. So I'm going to remove the glove box, uh, if you need to know how to do that I'll sort of prop the camera up and do a speed mo while I take it out. Uh, it's quite straightforward, it's just a few torque screws. Okay, first step, we're just going to remove this and we want to try and get access to the little bolt there which is just under there. side um, so you can do that right back to you do is get this threaded all the way through
So, actually, uh, I can't quite see in there. Got a little comment, and it's going to run um, alongside parallel with my um, short charge system, split charge system. Uh, so, what I'm going to do in here now is just give this a little bit of a tidy up uh, with some electrical tape, and then I will get back to it. And you'll see that it follows my split charge. So I've got the mat down and I've got the cable for the main hookup running alongside just down under here. You can see it's running with the um, split charge cable as well. It's actually going to run up and in, I believe, I'm going to go up and inside over in this corner too. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add like a, I don't know what you want to call it, like a split box. Um, so that in the future I could move the uh, mains kit around if I want to, if I want to change its de uh, destination in the van or whatever. Uh, I can have a little play around with that. So I'm going to show you how uh, to do that in a mo. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching so far, guys. If you're enjoying it, just smash the likes button, uh, hit the subscribe button as well while you're at it. Um, more the merrier. Um, yeah, cheers. Thank you. So what I've decided to do on mine. Um, is add a junction box um, now I guess you know some people will have their um, why are you doing that for yeah what's the point of that um, I'm going to put it this junction box um, on the lower part of this C pillar now it gives me a couple of options at a later stage of being able to remove the rear part of this kitchen unit and fit a wider seat bed in um and it just i can move things around i can move the electrics about the van if i need to or if i want to um again so i'm not fully committed into what this van's going to be and turn out like so i want to be able to have a few options so i'm just going to get that started now um now a bit of a process really you can i'll be able to show you nice and close up really what's going on so this cable's too fat to fit in to there so it did earlier but i guess i don't know so i'm gonna have a go with some scissors now obviously i don't recommend this being the perfect way of doing it but i can just slowly trim around this blue cable um and then i'm gonna have to check the cable over real good and proper to make sure i haven't cut the inners um that actually looks pretty good Yeah, that's decent. Yeah, nice. Okay, so if you've got one of these things, because you're doing a similar thing to me, that's cool. Um, if you if you haven't, then don't panic. I mean, it's each to their own and their own build and what have you, but this is the way I'm doing mine. Now this piece actually fits, um, I'm just gonna drop that on the floor. <laughs> this bit just fits in the middle there uh, and you can pop out these or cut out these sides. So the cable itself goes in one end and comes out the other. Now I get the safer than maybe just doing a join, um, but it kind of is a join anyway. So yeah, let's crack on getting this done. So you need to, first of all, strip your cables down. Now, hopefully I have, yeah, that's plenty. So I'm gonna strip that off there and then I'm gonna strip that off there. Oh. Um, let's just get this, it's quite tight in there actually. Hmm, let's buff them out these little things. Alright, that's better. And then try and get that blue one. That's cool too. So, if we Go back to what these wires are just again just to familiarize ourselves with them a little bit more um, the yellow one which i'm going to do down the bottom little maths quiz <laughs> little quiz for you maths bloody hell that is the earthing wire 
The brown wire is the live wire. Make sure that's nice and tight. Just check that one. And the blue wire is the neutral cable. So I'm gonna pop that in there too. Now, oh, let's just loosen that off. Now go back to mounting this box. You, I could effectively um, just leave the join like this, um, but for I suppose for a safer, more um, better look, really, um, I could, or I'm going to, should I say, put it back in its box and mount the box on the side. So just let me get this one done up for you quickly. My nice trusty electrician's screwdriver which I found in a toolbox I didn't even know I had right so that's in there um, that will mount in the middle um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut this out quickly um, and then I'm also going to wrap up some electrical tape around it um, and just make sure that although the um, Although the cable is in there nice and safe, it's not actually going to rub at anything. So let me get that sorted up. Let me get this trimmed back properly so I don't look like a melon head on live TV. <laughs> While I was trying to break that little thing off that I'm sure just pulls off uh, and then I'll get back to you. Right, so we have moved down below the cabinets. Um, we're gonna get the blue wire in, um, although I don't like the amount of cable that's showing on that one. So I'm just gonna try and cut a bit off. There we go, that's nice. Bit of mess to clear up later. Right, so the blue is in. And we'll get her nice and tight. When I can find my screwdriver, whatever I've done with that, there it is. So the blue, which is the neutral wire, is in there good. The brown, which is the live wire, is in there. Good. Oh, broke my screwdriver. And the yellow and green, which is the, I suppose it's the earth. That's going in there. I suppose it's the earth. The yellow and green wire is the earth. That's in there. Nice and tight. Can't pull them apart, brilliant. Right, so let me just spin you around slightly and lift you up a little bit. There you can see what I'm doing. So it is a little dark in here. Uh, let me try and get some light. That's a little bit better. So I'm going to mount this upside down just at the bottom there um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that mounted on and then I'll be fitting these cables in either side so that the join is in the center and doesn't come into contact with anything fit I'm gonna turn that slightly so it twists a little bit get these well that's not actually gonna clamp in there and that's not actually going to come in there but she's in so i'm just going to close that up and that is where that's going to live um, i'm going to pop some cable ties on the inner side and on the outer side just so you can't pull it but it's connected in the middle so i can't see it going anywhere um, there's a bit of slack on that which is nice um, and then i'll make sure there's a little bit of slack on that uh, so i've got some wires to tidy up um, and then I'll take you to the back of the van where we're going to mount this little bad boy. 
after I've read like the importance of this installation or part of it is protected by a device which automatically switches off. Brilliant. Yeah, anyway, so this is the next bit. So I'm going to mount my consumer unit around here, so it's on this side. Uh, and then I'm going to run a cable up and around the top um, to the left side over here um, for the single socket which is going to then have the trickle charge bolted onto this side of the unit um, to try and keep things sort of either side but so I can access in the middle um, so I'm going to look at running the uh, power cable in uh, making sure there's enough slack um, try and tidy this spaghetti junction up a little bit um, which I probably should have done before I started filming and then get back to you. Uh, right, so here I'm just going to show you the um, single plug which I'm going to be using to uh, just be the main power source for the little charger that comes in the kit. Um, so I've got the blue wire going into the neutral the yellow and green going into the earth wire and the brown going into the live um, and what i've done is i've put a little hole in the top of the sort of the socket mounting so it will just be on the side of the van like this uh, in the back um, where i'll show you in a mo uh, where i'm going to fit that now I'm, i don't know the length of the cable that i'm going to need so i'm I've basically got like a meter on the end of it um, but it's going to go sort of like up and over and round to the other side but I'll show you that in a sec so now we are on the um, double socket uh, so this is the double socket I've just got a cheapy little white one um, that came with the kit. I will invest in some nice chrome ones uh, and obviously maybe a black back or uh, whatever. Just just try and make it look a bit smarter. But for now, to get me sorted, to get me set up, ready for a camping trip coming up soon, um, I just wanted to get this set up really and go from there. Uh, so we are going to run the Uh, let's have a look see it's going to go in that way around that's cool uh, so we're going to run the earthing cable to this side um, now it's doubled so I guess you can you know if you've got two cables coming in or you need another cable coming out because you're spurring off this one you can come out the other side quite easily um, but I'm just going to go in one side with the earth and the um, the live wire being the brown is going to go next to that and the neutral wire which is the blue is going to go on to the other side so I could actually I'm going to make a little adjustment to that just to make it uh, a little bit more user friendly mainly for myself that's shorter because it's going to be closer in. So I'll just pop that in there. And that's the live into the L labeled one. And then the neutral cable can go into the one with the N on it. So I'm just going to pop that in there. Nice. Ah, I switched it on. There's no power. I'm not too fast. I hope you've seen at least some of that dodgy camera position. Uh, yeah. So this is the um, the negative side. Sorry, not the negative. That's the earthing bit. Um, this is the uh, brown is the live and blue is the neutral and then that. Once I've pulled the cable through, will fit nicely into my box at the top, which I will spin you around and show you in a second without too much. So let me spin you around 
and pop you up here so you can see uh, so that'll fit nicely in there now obviously a big white box unit on the side isn't that great but I'm thinking of maybe just getting a uh, either carpet around that because this won't get hot um, smarten that up slightly and then get myself a nice uh, chrome faced one of these plastic ones um, we'll just spray it red so it looks cool no I'm joking yeah I'll, I'll, I'll invest in something a bit more uh, substantial than that at some stage right so let's get on to the actual consumer unit itself um, we are going to I'm going to take you in for a closer look now uh, and tell you what I'm going to be doing um, with it and then I'll get on with the wiring the brown wire the brown live wire is going into here the blue wire is going to go into there and the yellow and green wire is going to go into there and then for the single socket it's the pretty much exactly the same the um, brown wire is going into there the blue wire into there and the yellow and green wire into there it's quite straightforward it looks a bit fiddly because there isn't a great deal of space in there so that's the plan um, so smash the like button comment below let me know you know if I've done it wrong that's fine I get that I'm learning too um, but hopefully this guy this is helping you guys out because it's kind of like a beginner's guide um, and then hope we don't set fire to anything when we switch it on but yeah cool um, let's get on with this let's see how we get on I'm gonna try and strip without breaking I'm gonna try and strip this unit down slightly uh, in order to gain a bit of space uh, for the fitting so I'm gonna bin off or get rid of these two um, so I'm just gonna put them to one side so just to leave the main main point in there so it's in um, I'm gonna maybe get that a bit tighter so what I want to do now is be able to drill a hole in the bottom through there and through there so I'm going to get that started, I'm going to get that sorted, and maybe I'm going to go through one of these too. Yeah, so I'm going to drill out those two there and that one there. Um, and maybe that one there as well, just in case. So let's get those sorted and then uh, we'll see what we're going to do next. Magic. Uh, so there's those four access holes I suppose for it so that's great so basically what I was gonna do was drill in through the front casing and stuff and make some holes through that because uh, I don't know if you can see in there there's like these little bits so obviously you can like drill through bit and bit but it was like well what if I take that off and I can't take it off in the end because the cables are like stuck and things so if I mount it all on the wall with the cables coming through the back and going out the back I can always get access to this panel inside and then not have to worry about it. Right so the first thing we're going to do uh, I'm just tightening that up so I don't lose the bolt first thing we're going to do is bring in the main supply for this unit basically um, so if I just flip it up there for you uh, you've got the N and the 1 um, and you've got two at the bottom but I'm going to ignore that bottom bit you've got the N and the 1 uh, the N is obviously the neutral, the 1 is going to be the live, and then I need to feed the um, cable that is the earth cable to the E on this side. So it's got a little E down there, and it's got a neutral. So you, this whole thing is neutral once I get the neutral into the main point. So it's quite confusing. Um, so let's get the wire stripped down, and I'm going to show you the process for that. Open earth in point that right in there nice and good make sure it's in and give it a good old tighten toy like a tiger I think I've used that phrase before not sure what film is out but never mind all right so that's in and then that is going to go into the neutral feed which is I'm going to poke it in there a little bit fiddly I can manage to get it round and up and down and through the little gap and I'm going to poke it in there I'm going to get this tightened up and then I'm going to show you what I've done so let's tighten this up 
make sure it's metal, 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 not rubber. Then it won't tight. Well, you know what I mean. I can get the. So that's nice and tight. Let me spin it around here for you. You can see just through the top there. Um, let me try and angle that round. No, wrong way. Down. There we go. So move the brown wire out of the way. You can see that it's gone into the top of the consumer unit. And that is labelled an N for... I was, going to, I was going to say, try and crack a joke then. Uh, an N for neutral, but never mind. Right, so next is the live wire. So this is the brown one. So this is the live feed. And this one is going to go into the one that's got a number one on it. I'm not sure why, but it is. It's going in there. Let's make sure when we're tightening it, you just obviously want the metal contact. You don't want um the the housing of the cable the rubber bit to trap it so there isn't much metal getting in there right so that's all done that's all tidy that's all tight um i'm gonna keep the process of trying to come in through the back and out through the back i'm gonna try and keep it like that um that's really cool that fits nice um i'll show you in the top there while i'm chatting away so you just to remind you again so that you don't um do it wrong I suppose or mess it up like I have had to do a bit of research N is neutral the one here is the positive the power the live coming in and then the colored wire the yellow and uh, green one in this case is the earthing so luckily on this kit gives you an earth and gives you a neutral so this has now got the neutral in so it's got a feed that comes out to this bar so that makes this bar neutral when i feed and put my earth in on this end it'll earth this off for all of them so whatever you plug into here so i've only got one two three four six of those the last one's taken up so effectively i've only got five but the last one will be the main earthing point all right so that's how to do that one i'm going to crack on and get the other two wired in and then what I'll do is I will show you what it looks like. Okay, so here is the location of my consumer unit. Now, I understand it is very messy. It is very messy in there. Um, annoyingly, or nicely, I suppose, I'm going to be um, changing the kitchen over. So this all this has got to come back out. So... I've literally got this wired up, so I know it's wired up, but it's a bit of a spaghetti junction, so I'm just going to try and use this little pointy thing to point stuff out. So I've got my double plug wired up to the 16, B16, so I guess it's a 16 amp fuse, uh, or relay, or switch, or whatever you want to call it. Um, that comes in, um, let's take a look, so that comes in from the bottom, so it comes in from under here. The brown cable threads up and round and goes into the top, which is the live wire, so it makes it all live. And then the blue wire comes into the top and goes into the neutral bar, which is on the right-hand side at the top here. And then the earth wire comes up to the left-hand side, which is the earthing on the left. So everything coming in needs to go left earth, right neutral, and then into the top of whichever switch is going to be powering that that piece, basically. So, <clears throat> all I've got left to do now is to get the cover back on, um, have a little hoover. <laughs> um, I've got my split charger at the back, or the, sorry, the split charger, the trickle charger -y type thing. Uh, it's an 8 amp, or 2, 4, or 8 amp, um, Rains Automotive Smart Battery. Um, I'll stick a link in the um, blog below of the kit I used um, so you guys can check it out. I've got my single switch up on the left here. Um, so that's going to be powering just the battery charger, which I will be able to leave on. Um, I haven't wired or plugged that in yet. Um, you know, all the bits are pretty straightforward. Um, so red is plus, black and red is the earth, so it's going to have to go red and black um, and then I can leave that on um, so that when I'm on the mains when I'm hooked up it will just trickle charge trickle 
charge into this main battery at the bottom here. So <clears throat> let's get the fascia plate back on and then uh, get the earth down and we'll give it a uh, give it a plug in and see what happens. All right, so the box face is still on. Let's plug her in and see what happens. So that's the cable hooked up. Let's just close the bonnet over a bit. Okay, so I've switched the main supply on. Um, it's currently fed from the house on one of those little um, extension plugs. I should be able to push this to test it and it should turn itself off which means we have power. So I'm gonna turn both switches on and then I'm gonna go up into the van and I'm gonna plug my light in just up there. I don't know if you can see that. And then I'm gonna switch it on and then hopefully we have power. And with the magic of editing, this is the end of the video too. Um, so thank you very much for watching. Um, I have some super, super good news for you guys and for me, I suppose. Uh, I'm, I'm well chuffed with it, in, in all fairness. Um, I've managed to get hold of a company um, and they're willing to do a special offer um, to you guys. So if you are a subscriber, you will be the first to know when the new video comes out what the cheeky little code is that will get you some discount with another company um so i'm super excited um their bits are turning up maybe today i mean yeah maybe today um so i'm gonna get them unboxed have a cheeky little look at what i'm gonna be fitting to my van i'm proper excited so subscribe to the channel smash that like button um do me a favor make the channel grow um, and obviously if you are a subscriber you'll be the first to know what the code is i'm not going to publish it anywhere else i'm not going to put it on my instagram or anything like that it is literally going to be on my youtube channel so if you're subscribing to the channel you'll be the first to know and there will only be a limited time that this offer is out for so subscribe 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 this is Tom, this is T-Dubs. Thank you very much for watching. See you soon.